Here's this week's Power Profile. Outboard powered boats keep getting larger, and to meet this demand, Mercury's recently launched the Verado 300, a four stroke six cylinder capable of powering the biggest bay boat or saltwater fishing machine. And to demonstrate that, this week on Power Profile, we'll test the awesome power of four on a CV390. With a length overall of 39 feet, a beam of 11 feet, and weighing in at 11,800 pounds, the CV390 is one big fishing machine. But based on customer demands, this Florida-based company has also added some creature comforts for cruising with friends and family. The solidly mounted T-top capable of supporting a host of electronics and fishing gear overshadows a center console sized more like a cabin. At the touch of a switch, the forward console seating slides to the side, revealing a sizable head compartment complete with vanity and shower and great access to the ship's electrical panel and the backside of the helm. The expansive cockpit conceals a 40-gallon storage locker with removable box to port and starboard, a 65-gallon locker or optional live well fish box, and a massive machinery compartment. Located here is a single through hull that feeds the water manifold that supplies all of the boat's needs for seawater. On the transom is a standard 65-gallon live well. Ahead of the console, a touch of a switch reveals a 160-gallon insulated fish box with a small secondary hatch. To port and to starboard are twin storage lockers with rod stowage and an additional 70-gallon insulated fish box or live well. At the bow, a massive anchor locker contains not only the road or chain, but the windlass and anchor chute as well. Thoughtfully CV has provided access to the road to straighten out the inevitable tangle. Rounding out the fishing amenities is the console tackle station with a bait prep area, tackle storage for small and large hardware, and a power slide out fish box or cooler. When the fishing is done, simply hose down the self-bailing cockpit, fold out the bow seating and the transom jump seats, turn on the misters to cool everyone off, and head on out. And if a swim is on the agenda, the CV has a unique swing open dive door and hidden folding boarding ladder. At the helm here is the heart and soul of what makes it possible and easy to control quad outboards, the Mercury Smartcraft Digital Throttle and Steering System, or DTS. Now the binnacle here may look like you can only control two outboards, but in actual fact this setup can control two, three, or four outboards, the whole heart of the system. So let's head out in the water and find out how 1200 horsepower can make this CV390 perform. Starting up the Verados takes a quick push of a button for each motor. Cruising out of the intercoastal waterway with Jorge Alfonso of CV Boats, I had a chance to go over the layout of the helm and impressive it was with its vast array of electronics all protected from the elements by a plexi cover supported by gas struts. The significant systems here were the Mercury Smartcraft system integrating all engine information at the helm, the electro-hydraulic steering that allowed for fingertip control of the four Verados, and the DTS shifters and throttles. Getting underway certainly wasn't like earlier multi-engine installations. By selecting single throttle control, Mercury's shadow technology and auto synchronization provide shifting and throttle control for up to four engines with a single stick. Cruising along at 4,000 RPM, the highly efficient 2.6 liter inline six supercharged four strokes settled into a cruise of 44 miles per hour and delivered an impressive one mile per gallon. Leaving the sheltered waters for the open Atlantic, I was able to put the boat through its paces in its natural environment. Acceleration tests were impressive, with the Verado 300s powering the 390 to 30 miles per hour in 6.8 seconds. High-speed passes averaged 65 miles per hour at 6,100 RPM. Where this boat and engine package really shone was its ability to power through the turns in the rough stuff, indicating the hull's ability to handle a wide variety of wave conditions and the impressive mid-range power of the Verado 300 powering out of the turns. Just a few short years ago, it would have been hard to imagine an outboard-powered center console as large and accommodating as this CV390. Now, what makes this possible is not just what the builders have done here with the boat, but what the engine builders like Mercury have done back here with the power. Now, you may not be in the market for the power of quad 300s, but the technology, DTS, that makes all of this possible is also available to you in a single application.